This week, we get a sneak peek into theater's new play, Hallmarks of Horror. We get an insight into the welding class. And we also honor a beloved student, Tierra Dancer. THS students are mourning the loss of recent graduate, Tierra Dancer. She was a friend to many and impacted everyone around her. Tierra was my girl. She was my girl. And, you know, I thought about it and I said, okay, um, let me, which one of these are, are my most fun experiences? Because, believe me, I had a lot of them. Tierra had the most vivacious. She was just energetic. She had a smile that was just just was like a free-spirited person. Um, she was very down to earth, and I think like she maybe just wanted to bring peace to everybody because she was a peacemaker out of the group. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. She was real chill, just funny and, you know, real pretty. Through this whole time, we'll be with um, Tierra Dancer's family and friends that you'll be with all of us as a community, help us all to support each other, love each other. And let us remember that this is not a morning, but a celebration, Lord, of our death. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. She may be gone, but she'll live in our hearts and minds forever. Synergy and Soundway groups showed out. Both groups performed their competition shows as well as some solos and duets. The senior girls took to the stage with their senior song as they reminisced on their last year. My favorite thing about show choir is just getting to sing and dance with a group of girls that I just love and you know it's a lot of fun to get to do what we love with the people you love. I'm gonna miss the most the people and the competitions because um, the people are awesome and it's gonna be sad not to see them again. And I'm also gonna miss the competitions because there's no singing and dancing group like this in the future. So it's, I'm really gonna miss being a part of show choir. We will miss this year's seniors as they move on. But we are excited to see what is to come of the future. Speaking of the future, I wonder if it's going to stay warm. Me too. Hopefully Sarah can tell us if more warm weather is coming. Thanks Erin and Ava. This week is going to look pretty gloomy. We start to see showers causing the humidity to rise to over 70%. The temperature stays pretty constant with highs in the 60s and lows in the high 40s. In other news, Punxsutawney, Tawny, the official groundhog, did not see his shadow. Which means, spring, here we come. On the other hand, Mr. Hines, Hedgehog Herbert saw his shadow, which means he predicted six more weeks of winter. Guess we will just have to see for ourselves. That's all for this week's weather. Back to you guys. Sounds like the weather is going to stay fairly warm. Speaking of warm temperatures, I hear it's getting pretty hot in welding. Yes, and February is recognized as National Career Technical Education Month. Trent tells us more in Discovering Tupelo. Here at THS, we offer quite a few career technical classes, and this month we'll be showcasing a few of them. Today, we'll be taking a look at welding. In welding, students get hands-on experience with all kinds of industrial tools and get to watch sparks fly as the class teaches them the world of metalworking. Basically, uh, the welding class prepares students to enter the real workforce. I mean, our goal is to have students that have the ability to uh, become welders, but also to become fabricators, and that's like a more detailed version of someone who would build something versus somebody that just knows how to put something together. But the kind of work that goes into the craft, students don't just use the tools all willy-nilly. Operating in the workshop requires safety precautions to make sure that no injuries occur on the job, including heavy-duty gloves and welding masks. As time goes on, students get to be more comfortable as they learn the trade. I did a camp with welding in it and I found out the high school had it so I was like I want to do it because I'm a girl and I thought it would be cool. Students get to apply the skills they learn here to make some works of metal art and some more practical objects. We were building a smoker uh, for grilling pretty much. We're still kind of working on it and it was kind of challenging too. Whether it's cutting, sanding, or fusing, welding has a lot to develop students from a novice into a metal master. For WTHS, I'm Trent Rogers, and you'll see another class here next week. Back to you. 
Sounds like a bunch of hard work and fun. Yeah, you know who else works hard? Actually, I do. All of our athletes here at THS. Lucy and Bailey can tell us more about what these hardworking students are up to. Thanks, Ava and Erin. I'm Lucy Hill. And I'm Bailey Colham. Welcome to this week's sports. <laughs> a lot to cover in this week's sports. Starting with cheer, they had a showcase this past Tuesday night in the gym to give a preview of their competition show. The next day, they headed to Disney World to compete in the national competition. The archery team has been very busy lately, and they recently hosted their first tournament here at Tupelo High School. They placed second overall and had several students placed in top 12. We are also super proud of both of our soccer teams. Boys and girls both finished off last Tuesday night at North Half. Congratulations on a great season. I got named as team captain for my senior year, so my role as long as with the other team captains was to make sure that everyone was positive and working hard and um, pushing each other and just making sure that soccer was fun and we were enjoying each other and being with each other all the time. Uh, it felt great. We proved a lot of people wrong and it's just sad that we lost. Wednesday was also National Signing Day. We had four of our football players sign this week. Hayes Hammond was number 37 and played long snapper and quarterback. He explains why he signed with Mississippi State University. It was just more comfortable when I went there. I just felt like that's where I fit in more. Trip Wilson is number seven, played positions offense and punter, and he also signed with Mississippi State. Well, their offense is very unique and the way they do it, it's a pass-heavy offense and I felt like there's a lot of opportunities being a receiver going to Mississippi State and the coaches made me feel at home and I've been a Mississippi State fan my whole life, so everything worked out perfect. Halfback and inside linebacker Ryan Hampton was number two and signed with Texas State. Football has had a significant impact on his life. Football has impacted my life tremendously. It taught me how to work hard, be disciplined, and be grateful for everything that you get. Also signed with Texas State, Jacob Horn was number three and played positions running back and wide receiver. This sport has played a great role in his life. I think it's made me a better man, made me become a leader, and changed my ways as a, as a young kid. Basketball is in full swing as the girls win yet another game. The boys unfortunately had a close game with a score of 69 to 63. They also had a game this past Friday in which they played against Corinth and recognized all of the seniors on the team. Next weekend, be sure to support our baseball team. They opened their season with Meet the Wave scrimmage games on February 13th and the Jamboree game in Nettleton on February 15th. Good luck and go Wave. Back, Back to y'all in the studio. Speaking of people hitting it out of the park, Mari Johnston has been an exceptional student in the THS Visual Arts program. Morgan tells us more about Mari's talent. Thanks Ava and Erin. Senior Mari Johnston has won many awards for her art. Her most recent awards include the Scholastic South Art Award. She got two Gold Key Awards and five Silver Key Awards. She also got the Senior Best in Show. I entered a lot of my art into the Scholastic Art and Writing Contest and I ended up winning a few things, so I got an invitation to attend the award ceremony, and I'm gonna like receive my award on stage. Mari says her biggest art pieces take at least two weeks, and she puts lots of hard work into each art piece. Um, I've always loved doing art, and I've been practicing since I was little, and in high school recently, I've been able to improve a lot and by doing commissions and just other stuff. Her most recent art pieces have been centered around one theme. This year I've been focusing on like a theme of distortion, so I've been drawing and painting different pictures of myself. Not only does Mari excel in art, she's also involved in after school activities, and not to mention has a 35 on her ACT. Mari explained how she balances so many things along with her schoolwork. I try to finish most of my schoolwork during school and then focus on like show choir practices after school and then finishing my art at home. Congratulations to Mari Johnson for all of her outstanding achievements. I'm Morgan Robbins, WTHS News. Mari sounds like an extremely talented student. You know who else is talented? The THS theater students. That's something I can agree with. This week, I and my fellow theater students 
are prepping for our Thespian Showcase. The Thespian Showcase includes the one-act play, Hallmarks of Horror, and the students' IEs. IEs, otherwise known as individual events, are the competition pieces students perform at Thespian Convention in Meridian. I bet it takes a lot of hard work and practice to remember the lines for both the play and the IEs at the same time. I know it's been difficult for me to learn my lines. I wonder what other cast members have to say. It was really hard memorizing lines for both, especially for Hallmarks of Horror, because I have one of the main speaking roles. Um, and for IEs, it's really hard to remember your notes. Uh, not as much lines, but then you start to psych yourself out, and then all the pressure, but you, you kind of just get used to it. Hallmarks of Horror is a very unique show, and then it's very costume and tech heavy. Yeah, it's crazy how good all of the cast members are at makeup. It can get really complex with a lot of the prosthetics and a lot of the colors and the layers that go into it. Um, it's been several weeks of preparation and it takes a while to put on for sure. Everyone's costumes look great. You can catch the Thespian Showcase at 6 p.m. in the THS Fine Arts Auditorium February 14th and 15th. I know for a lot of theater students, myself included, this is their first Thespian Showcase to participate in. And like students involved in theater, WTHS students also do a lot behind the scenes. What do you enjoy most about being a part of WTHS? My favorite part about being in WTHS is being in front of the camera and then going in and editing the shows. What is your dream? My dream is really out there, but my dream is to be the drum major for Carolina Crown because they're my favorite DCI band and their show 2018 Beast is my favorite marching show ever. What is your favorite part about being in WTHS? My favorite part about being in WTHS would probably have to be filming creative. I think that's just, it's really fun get to go out and interview people, but it's also fun to be able to come back and edit all the stuff. What's your favorite TV show and why? Uh, my favorite TV show right now is probably cheer on Netflix. It's like a documentary. It's so good. We sure do have some sweet girls here in WTHS. Another sweet thing is the singing telegrams Magicals are selling for Valentine's Day. You can buy these for anyone you want. See Dr. Williams for more info. But not everyone has someone to buy them for. You can't forget about Single Awareness Day. That's right. So if you're like me or Ava and you don't have anyone to buy one for, you can always buy one from yourself. All this talk about love and Valentine's Day has gotten a song stuck in my head. But I can't help. Come on, you're supposed to finish it. Oh, falling <laughs> in love. <laughs> this week's creative is Finish the Lyrics, Love Edition. If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you. Go. 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 <laughs> I, no, can I can take you places. Never been before. Yeah. Ooh. If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go. I could take you places that you've never been before. Baby, take a chance. You should let me love you. Let me be the one who give you everything. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. When I hear my favorite song, I know that we belong. I don't know. This <laughs> one. I, I love you like a love song, baby. <laughs> I, I love you like a love song, baby. I, I love you like a love song, baby. I love you. I <laughs> you were Romeo, you were throwing pedals. <laughs> you were Romeo, you were throwing pebbles, my daddy said. I put his name in yellow hearts. <laughs> Stop Ooh. in the name of love, love before, before you break, break your heart. heart. <laughs> Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Pour some sugar on me. <laughs> Pour some 
Sugar I'll make. We are never ever ever getting, getting back, back together. together. <laughs> <laughs> and I will always love you. <laughs> and I will always love you. L is for the way you look at me. L is for the way you look at me. <laughs> Can you keep going? If you want to. Do you know the, do you know the rest of the lyrics? Um, o is for the only one I see. <laughs> is very, very. Miss Hester's looking extraordinary. <laughs> He is it's even, even more, more than, than anyone that you adore. In love. That's all. Oh, my fault. <laughs> Never mind, I'll find someone like you. Never mind, someone like you. Cause love all of me love loves all of you love your curves and all your edges all your perfect and perfection have a wonderful valentine's day and remember you can sleep in on monday nice i definitely could use to sleep that's all for this week i'm erin and i'm ava see you guys next week <laughs>